we're inside a traditional Japanese garden. Now these are incredibly important to the residents of Tokyo. Uh, we're in one of the biggest built up cities in the world. You literally have to get in the car and drive more than an hour to see any countryside. So these gardens are not only a place of tranquility, but they also kind of act like the lungs of the city. So they're revered in Japan. You have all sorts of features here. We have a pond full of massive koi carp. And just here to my right, we have the art of bonsai. Now these uh, little trees all have little plates with them, which tells you how old they are. This one's 100 years old. A little bit further down there, there is a bonsai, which is 520 years old. Right, now join me and we're gonna learn how to drink green tea properly. Now these bowls are actually from the um, 1964 Tokyo Olympics. Okay, uh, you put your cup onto your left hand, like this, and the right hand uh, onto the side. Before you drink it, you turn the cup uh, twice, clockwise, to avoid the uh, front side. Okay. And, and what is the reason for that? Uh, you no, know, Japan is a country of uh, being modest, so uh, don't take it uh, literally, but uh, you know, it's like, uh, you know, I don't deserve the front side. Okay. So when you're drinking, you, you avoid the front it. side away. When you're finished, front side to you. Yes. And I believe on the last sip, you should make a noise of appreciation. Yes, so in Japan, it's okay to make a noise when you drink or eat. The sipping is a sign of uh, you, you know, being you know, finished.